Hi, this is Lauren from LSP Actions and in this video tutorial I'm going to show you how to install Actions into Photoshop. I'm using Photoshop Creative Cloud and I'm also going to show you how to get them into Elements. So let's get started. First of all, I'm going to open up Photoshop here. You're going to want to be able to see your Actions panel. If you can't see it on the screen, come up to Window and choose Actions. Your Actions may come up here or they may be up here somewhere. What I like to do is to grab the action panel if it's here and drag it free floating. The actions may be grey or if you come up here and choose button mode they may look coloured like this. But for now I'm going to come off button mode so we have it into grey mode. When you've downloaded your actions from the website they will probably appear in your downloads folder or wherever you um, specified to save them. I'm using the LSP Signature Newborn Photoshop Action Suite to demonstrate for this video, but the same goes for all actions. The folder may uh, be normal, you can just get in, or if you've downloaded from somewhere else, the, folder, the file might just be an ATN file, in which case you can skip this step. If it's zipped, on Windows you can right click and choose Extract All. On the Mac you can simply double click or use the Archive Utility option. When you've extracted, you will see um, an open folder. So this one is zipped up and this one is open. So go ahead and open that. The LSP actions come with different versions of Creative Cloud, CS5 and 6 or Elements. So I'm going to go ahead and open the Creative Cloud version. The same would go for CS5 and CS6, it's exactly the same. And here you have the actions file. You'll see the extension is .atm. What you can do is simply double click this and it will land into your Photoshop. You can drag and drop into your Photoshop or you can come up here on the action panel and choose load actions to locate this file. But I'm going to go for the easiest option which is double clicking. If you get a notification that comes up and says one or more shortcuts in the action set to a hide menu key shortcuts remove. If it's LSB, hit no because I've assigned certain shortcuts here, so make sure you hit no. And you'll see just like that, the actions appear here at the bottom of your action panel. You can click the little drop down here to see what's inside. When the actions are um, loaded in in grey mode like this, you need to click on an action and click the play button down here to play out. This is a brush action, so it's selected a brush for you, but this is not an editing tutorial for actions, I'm just showing you um, how you would work them in this mode. So that was a brighten up action there. You can simply switch to a black brush over here to hide the effect. I like to edit in button mode, um, so you need to come up here and choose button mode. This is only available in full versions of Photoshop and not Elements. Now if button mode looks crazy and chaotic like this, you can simply drag on the side and drag it in until it all clicks into a nice, neat column. I also like to hold my actions here and hover until the blue line appears and they all appear here. The actions we've just got in um, came to the very bottom and here they are. Here are the signature newborn actions. And to play one of these you simply just click it now on button mode and you can paint on. For example, that was to reduce the reds. But for tutorials on how to actually use the LSP Photoshop Actions, you can visit the website at www.lsp-actions.com and you can see all the video tutorials there. But that is how you load Actions in. If you want to reorder your Actions, come off button mode. You can close the folders here and simply drag the Actions where you want them to go. For example, the signature newborn I've just loaded in, I've put it at the top now. So I can go back on button mode, come up to the top, and here they are, right at the top of the action panel, ready to use. So let's show you how to get actions into Elements. I'm just going to go ahead and open up Elements here in the Photo Editor. So you need to open up the Photo Editor version here. And it may look a little something like this. So I'm going to load in the same action set again. So first off, just like with um, the full version of Photoshop, come up to Window and choose Actions. Your action panel will appear. Uh, unfortunately with Elements you cannot use the one click button mode, but you can still use the actions and click play. Installation is pretty much exactly the same. Let me just go ahead and get these actions up for you.
Now that was the Creative Cloud version of MSP Actions there, so I'm going to click back and go ahead and open the PSE Elements version, which will be a little bit different. You can drag and drop this in, and that will appear in your Elements action panel, like this. To play um, an action on Elements, you simply click the action here and choose the Play button. This will run out and create your layers for you. Choose a brush, and you can paint on um, as required. You can change the opacity um, of your brush down here as well for a stronger effect. And aside from that, using actions and elements is pretty much exactly the same as uh, using the full version of Photoshop. So that's how to load your actions into Photoshop Elements and into Photoshop Creative Cloud. In Creative Cloud, the same um, exact same technique goes for CS5, CS6 and earlier versions of Photoshop. It's exactly the same way of going it and exactly the same way of seeing button mode up here. So I hope that helps. For all other tutorials, you can visit www.lsp-actions.com. I'm Lauren. Thanks for watching.